being the new new guy here. I know maybe I met some of you on Zoom when I first got here, but I don't remember. But appreciate you guys being here. It's good to see everybody uh, here in person. And uh, just want to say it's a it's an honor and privilege to be here and be a part of this program and Coach Loxley's staff. And um, one of the first things that I've noticed is being a new coach is the culture and, and how um, the guys get along and how everybody's really, really bought into Coach Loxley and his vision of where he wants this program to go. It's been very exciting for me um, to come in and be to be a part of that. So it's, it's exciting to be here. Obviously, we get started today. We're looking forward to the, the beginning, building a foundation um, of what the, hopefully this offense is gonna, gonna look like for the entire year. Um, we feel really, really excited about uh, having this much production. I think we got about 86% of the production from last year on offense returning. We're excited about that. We're excited about uh, camp, being able to identify who our playmakers are going to be. And you know, one thing Coach Loxie has stressed to us is trying to build competition to build depth at every every single position is going to be very, very important uh, for this camp. So, um, other than that, excited to be here. Appreciate you guys being here. And uh, now we'll uh, obviously try to answer any questions you may have. Start with um, Ryan to your right, from Baltimore side. Mike is coming. Uh, hey, Coach. Um, Coach Loxley mentioned earlier about how the wide receiver room is one of the best he's been around. I just want to get your thoughts on those guys w within that room. Yeah, I totally concur with him. Um, I think it's a very talented group. I've been very impressed with uh, the, not only the ability level, but the IQ, the football intelligence is, uh, is really good. Their competitiveness is very good. Their practice habits are good, and that's a credit to, to Coach Loxley. And, Coach Burden and uh, uh, the staff, but uh, really excited about the group. I think there's, you know, sometimes when you're on a, on a team, you kind of like, okay, if we call this, we want that guy in, if we call that, this guy or that guy. And I look, and we just had this discussion the other day, there's a lot of stuff we call. If we got any of five or six receivers out there, we're like, all right, we're good. You know, these guys have the ability to, to get a little separation and catch the ball when, when it gets to them. So, uh, really excited about the group. Again, a lot of talent, but what I've been most impressed with is the mindset, the toughness, the practice habits, and the competitiveness that they've shown. Bruce. Yeah, Bruce Posner from Turf Talk. Uh, Coach, you know, there's so much anticipation with the offense because of the receivers and your quarterback. Uh, what sights do you see? How good can this offense be? You know, it has a chance. You know, I, you know, I met with the offense yesterday, uh, you know, briefly, and, and uh, throughout the spring and you know and, and we'll continue to talk to him as camp goes and the message is going to be very clear you know um you know potentials of ugly word bad word you know ability talent you know we got to match it with our execution with our work ethic with our habits i think if we can do all those things i get i, I agree i think we have a chance you know uh, knock on wood stay healthy and everything is good we got a chance to be exciting and be a good good football team but you know i, I think the big thing is coach loxley is keeping us all in the, in the mindset of just, you know, being a process-driven program and not, you know, talking about if we can be good or how good we can be, but we got to go out and pr prove and show. And I think, mm -hmm. again, building the foundation mm -hmm. here, uh, what we did in the spring, what they did in the summer, and then now here in the fall, we have a chance. And that's exciting as a coach. I think, um, you know, we really look at all the positions and you see good players at all the positions. I've been doing this. This is my 30th year, I think, in college football mm -hmm. at all different levels and angles. and. I'm excited because at all the position groups I look and I see talented guys, guys that are good players, guys that have a chance to, to be good. Now we got to come together as a unit and put it all together. To your right, third row, Dave. Dan, Dave Preston, WTOP Radio. Welcome to College Park. Uh, you you. Know, the, the spotlight shines brightest on the quarterback, and uh, you've had a chance to do a little with the quarterback room. What impresses you about the group and Tully in particular? And, how, in, in your path, how have you worked with quarterbacks in the past? How, what sort of things do you really connect with the guys in the room? Well, I think, you know, first and foremost, the room. I love the room. It's one of the best rooms from a character standpoint, work ethic standpoint that I've, I've ever been around in my career. Um, and I've been around some really good, good ones. I mean, these guys, uh, from top to bottom, we, we've added guys. Uh, we have six in the room right now. All of them have tremendous work ethic. They've shown great character, integrity, uh, their willingness to be coached, their willingness to do extra, their willingness to sacrifice, um, to be good teammates. 
I've been super, super impressed. Uh, Talia in particular, I see all those same qualities. Uh, you see a guy that has, uh, uh, you know, obviously a lot of talent in my opinion, but he's got the mindset to match it. He loves football. He loves to compete. Uh, he loves to work. Um, he wants to be coached. He wants to be coached hard. He wants to be, um, he wants to be better every day. He wants to, he wants to strive for excellence in everything he does. And what more can you ask as a coach? Um, so I'm excited about him. I'm excited about the room in particular. And you know, we, as far as developing quarterbacks, I, I'm a really strong believer that there's three areas of development. There's mental, uh, physical, and the emotional side of it. So there's mental development that goes on, physical development, emotional development that occurs in that group. And really, it's year round. And we do things, you know, within the rules that we can year round to try to develop these guys in those three areas. So, um, you know, during this summer, we challenged them. We gave them work, work, work to do. I met with each one of them individually after spring, and we do a throwing and drop me, uh, mechanics analysis of them. We, we, we show them on tape what they need to improve on. We give them the tools to improve on them, and that's part of the physical side of the position, the fundamentals, the techniques, how to get better um, you know, that they've done. Then obviously there's the mental side of it, which is learning our offense, becoming, we, we challenged them to get a PhD in our offense. Know it inside out, upside mm -hmm. down, protections, run game, everything. And then obviously the defensive mm -hmm. uh, structure that goes along with that as a quarterback. Not only what you're doing, but what people are trying to do against mm -hmm. you and attack that. And then there's the emotional side, which is, again, again year round, handling adversity. How are you going to respond? Who are you? How are you going to handle it? Are you going to you know, cut and run, point fingers? Are you going to attack it and move forward? And then mm -hmm. here's a big part we talk about, handling success. I think that's a that's a – huge thing with playing this position is you know are we going to allow success to change us are we going to maybe get arrogant leads arrogance leads to complacency and you know and so th those types of things so again you ask kind of a broad question i know I'm, I'm i'm being broad in my answer in a way but really there's a there's a lot of development that goes on and we we, we try to do it and you know the great thing is that the head football coach is has experience with quarterbacks that's one thing that when him and i were together in alabama in 2018 we were like uh, streamlined and how, how we, we wanted the quarterback coach taught, mm -hmm. um, all those types of things. And so we, we were on the same page. So it's great to have a resource like Coach Loxley mm -hmm. uh, with me as well. So I can bounce things off him. He can bounce things off me. And then both of us, you know, we're saying we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're saying the same things to those guys. And, and that's a real plus, uh, you know, mm -hmm. added bonus, I think, to this, this situation. Oh, if I could just get one follow up. And, and, and given from what you've seen on tape, given uh, what uh, Talia has in his toolbox right now, where do you expect him to make strides this fall? Where are you looking for him to make the leap, so yeah. to speak? I think, uh, you know, th th in the techniques and fundamentals, that was a big thing about cleaning up our drops, cleaning up our ball handling, cleaning, cleaning up our eyes, you know. Um, so just a lot of te technical and fundamental work that is just really the ABCs of the position that we need to do. And then we, we really challenge them to grow, again, at, from a structural level as far as protections go. Being able to uh, change protections, you know, you know, be, being able to, to manipulate the mic point, uh, flip the protections if needed to, um, if uh, have the ability to audible. If, you, if we, we give them parameters and there's certain things that a defense is taking away and we have a bad play, to get us out of that play and get us into a new play. Or if you just recognize that there's something they're giving us and we don't have have called, try to get us into that. And that, again, the more the quarterback can do with that, the better better coaches it, it makes us, um, that's for sure. So we've really challenged him in, in those areas. And you know what? He's really done a good job in responding to that. Hi, Coach. Uh, great to see you. Um, great to see you. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to ask, you know, what is what are you expecting to see from the team specifically today? What do you want to see from them to get off on the right foot? Just great effort, you know, attitude and effort is something that we we talked about. And again, I, you know, I I've been here all spring. I've, I've, I've been around these guys this summer, gotten to know them. And again, I, I'm, I've been very impressed with what Coach Loxley and this staff have done as far as building the culture. These guys are going to work. They're going to come out there today and they're going to work. So. We just want to continue to build on that. You know, it's one day at a time. Where I, I, I tell these guys we're building a foundation. I think this, I, and, and I express this to our team, I think we know what to do. You know, our guys, they know what to do. They've been in the system now. This is going on year three for some of these guys in this system. Now we have to learn how to do it better and how to do it at a very high level. So we're really trying to take these guys, challenge them to don't get bored with details 
and uh, just continue to, to get better at whatever it is you're part of the puzzle, whether it's route running, releases, uh, you know, double team a three technique or a quarterback drop or a, a, a specific adjustment on a route, whatever those things are, let's just continue to get better and grow. Well, you've talked a lot about your offense, but what, if you had to put it in a nutshell, uh, the elevator pitch of what is your offensive philosophy? Well, I, you know, the, the big thing is that this is Coach Loxley's, you know, uh, system as far as um, I didn't come in here and bring my playbook and say, this is what we're doing. I mean, we have a system in place here. You know, one of the reasons I'm here is because I know the system um, and I'm very familiar with it. And uh, Coach Loxley and I are on the same page, but we want to be a, a, a team that looks complex and remains simple. We want a team that can create balance by having a, a good run and pass game. And uh, we want to, again, we want to go fast. So but we go fast, but the, I think the thing that's unique to us is that we also have a very, very, I think, sophisticated passing game that goes along with that. It's not just all simple. You know, we ask these guys to get change formations, we change personnel groupings, and we try to stay very multiple. But, that, you know, Really, the pillars of what we're going to do are going to be that we're going to play with effort, toughness. Um, we're going to play fast, and we're, we're going to hopefully become a team that doesn't beat ourselves. We want to be a team that's disciplined, that can limit um, sacks, limit turnovers, limit drops, and, li and limit those penalties, especially those pre-snap penalties. So, um, you know, I think again, um, if we can do those things, we have a, we we have good players and we have good coaches, and I think we'll put our our, our players in a position to be successful. Scott Green Rivals. Um, going back to the quarterbacks, you know, you look at Reese Sudinski, you know, he's a guy who, um, you know, played in the spring um, at the FCS level. Um, you know, he comes in, had surgery. Just, you know, from an emotional standpoint, learning the playbook, you know, uh, what, what have you thought about what you've seen from him so far? Gosh, Reese is a, just added to our room. I talked about the room earlier, about their, their character, about their willingness um, and strive for ex excellence and their willingness to work. Reese is, is added to the room. The guy studies, the guy asks questions, the guy uh, is well, well, well beyond where he should be based on the amount of time that he's been here. And so he's the way he's bouncing back from his injury has been amazing. But that's a credit to him. Um, the work that he's put in and our medical staff, obviously. But um, we, you know, Reese is, is going to be right in the thick of it. He's going to be in there today. And we, he, he's mature beyond his years. And uh, he was given a really, really good foundation at VMI. He was coached very well. They did really good things with him. Uh, I have a ton of respect for that staff. And he comes in, you know, um, again, with the maturity level and a lot of knowledge about football in general. And he's, again, added to the room. And we're very, very excited to have Reese. Take our last question on the third row to your right. Hey, Coach. Uh, everywhere you've gone, one position group that's seen a lot of production is the tight end. And so just overall, what is your philosophy on the tight end? And what do you think about this Kirk group we have here? <laughs> well, our philosophy, and Coach Loxley is in align with this totally, is that, man, that's a, that's a difference maker. That's a guy that can be a matchup issue. That's a guy that uh, can, can create a lot of space for other players, too, if you use them right. So uh, we love the tight ends, and we're extremely excited. I am extremely excited about Chig and about uh, Corey and about, about this group as a whole. I, I think these guys have a chance to be really, really good. And we're excited about the, the multiplicity that we think we're going to be able to, to, to show and do with the, with the tight end group. You know, it's a, it's a unique position because you know what? You're, there's a lot on your plate. We ask you to block like a, a tackle almost at times. You got to handle defensive ends. You got to handle, handle the C gap area in the run game. You got to handle protections. But then we expect you to be athletic enough to run the route tree and, and win one on one coverages. And, understand if it's zone man, middle open, close. So there's a lot on those guys' plates there. You know, when you get good ones, you're excited because they can provide a lot of value to, you, to your offense. And again, we, we, we feel great about this one. We got some young guys that, that just got here in the spring that we saw glimpses that are gonna hopefully, you know, take the next step here as we start camp. But, you know, uh, with, with Chig, I'm excited about him. I think he's an every down tight end. I think he's a run blocker. I think he's outstanding in the past game. Corey Deitch is a guy we moved over there, had a tremendous spring, and really excited about him as well. So we're, we're excited about that position. Coach, thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you, guys.